Hi guys, Matt from Motors. So today we're going to paint the hood on this Hyundai. As you can see, the clear coat has failed and the paint is in very poor condition. As always, we're going to be using products you can use at home. Uh, you won't need any special equipment and it won't cost a lot of money. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first step, as always, is to wash down the area. We don't need sand or grit getting into the sanding process and it's just good practice as well. Okay, for the next step you're going to need a sanding block, but if you haven't got a sanding block, you can use styrofoam. And sometimes you see them come with a new TV or a new washing machine. And what you can do is you can actually just cut it down to size. And it'll work just as good as a sanding block. Okay, so I'm starting out with 400 grit sandpaper. Probably later on I'll move up to 600, but for now we'll be using the 400 grit. Okay, so in any areas where the paint is lifted off, I'm just feathering the edge on the paint. This will give it a smooth transition so when you paint over that it leaves no dips or hollows in the paint. Okay, so in a few of the areas that are really, really bad, I stepped it up to 180 grit sandpaper simply because the 400 has taken too long with the 180 be a lot quicker going through the clear coat okay so just finishing up the blast of the sand in here now we'll just clean down the hood and move on to the next step Okay, so after about an hour sanding with 400 grit and 180 grit on the bad areas, uh, this is what we're left with. It's very feathered out, there's no hard edges. So it's ready for the next step, which is primer. Uh, the first thing I do is I'm going to try and remove this grill and then I'm going to mask up the rest so we don't get paint on anything else. Okay, so a good tip is when you're masking off a hood, is to open the hood up and slide the paper underneath the hood. That way overspray doesn't get on the engine compartment or on the windshield. Okay, so for this step I've put on some gloves because we're going to be degreasing the panel before we put the primer on. This is the most important step really because a lot of people don't clean the panel properly before the paint. I'm going to be using a panel wipe which will remove any grease or silicones or anything that might have landed on the panel. Okay, so this is the primer going to be using, it's etching primer. I'm going to prime the entire hood because the paintwork was so poor on this. Normally you get away with priming a small area if your hood isn't as bad, but this one was so bad, I'm going to prime the entire uh, hood so that way we should have no problems later on. Okay, so one last clean down with a tack rag.
Okay, so the first cut, as you can see, is a very, very light cut. You can still see the imperfections through the primer coat, but once you put the second coat on, a lot of these should be hidden and they shouldn't be visible. Um, if they are visible, you might need to put on a third coat, but I'm going to put the second coat on there now. Okay, so I've put two and a half to three coat full coats on. At this stage, you shouldn't see any of the previous clear coat damage from underneath. You should have a nice, smooth, even shine the whole way across the hood. Don't mind little imperfections because you'll be sanding this primer uh, before we put on the base coat and the clear. Okay, so the primer is dry there now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to spray what's called a guide coat. This involves taking any dark colour, which in my case is matte black, and misting it over the panel. This will, is a little trick that professionals use that will show up any little imperfections or any areas we might miss when we're sanding the primer. Okay, so now we're using the 600 grit sandpaper on the block and we're just sanding it in one direction only. Okay, so if we hadn't sprayed the guide coat, we wouldn't have seen any of these imperfections. These would have been visible to the naked eye, but because we've, we've put on a light coat of black, we can now see all the imperfections. Okay, so again we're using some panel wipe just to degrease the hood before we start painting. Okay, so this is the base coat we're going to be using. I've had it mixed up to the code that's on the vehicle. Normally you can find it in the glove compartment or inside one of the doors, or sometimes it's underneath the engine bay. In this case, this was the paint coat for this Hyundai. I'm just going to start off a light coat first, and then I'm going to build up then to a heavier coat. Okay, so that's the first coat of base coat on. It should look patchy like this. It shouldn't be a heavy coat. We're just going for a coverage more than a finish. The second coat and the third coat will be looking for a good finish. Okay, so the first coat is now dry. Now it's time for the second coat of base coat. Okay, so that's three entire coats I've put on it. And as you can see, we've got really, really good coverage. It's just drying there now. As soon as this dries, we'll put on the clear coat and then we'll be finished. Okay, so this is the clear coat we're gonna be using. Uh, this is a 2K clear coat. It's a little bit more expensive than a 1K clear coat, but it's, it's worth it. It's um, a tougher wearing clear coat as well. And also I think it gives a, a superior gloss finish as well. Okay, so I'm going to tack rag the panel down one last time and then we're going to hit, smash on the clear.
Okay, so now we're moving on to the second coat of clear coat. This coat we're going to be going a lot heavier. Okay guys, so that's three full coats. As you can see, we've got a really nice deep shine. Pretty, pretty impressive shine from an aerosol can. Uh, I'm just gonna remove the mask and I'm gonna refit the grill. I'm gonna bring it outside and we're gonna have a look. Okay guys, so here it is out in the daylight. Really nice deep shine on it. From an aerosol can, I would say, it's pretty excellent results. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video guys, and that's how you paint a hood on a car. Thanks for watching.